Many people say energy equals mass or energy and mass are equivalent. But energy only equals mass if the mass is multiplied by the speed of light squared. The speed of light squared must represent something fundamental in the process that forms the characteristics of mass. Energy is a potential to do work. A good way to think of this is that the concept of energy is part of a process that forms our future. This can be represented mathematically if instead of energy equals mass times the speed of light squared, we have energy minus mass times the speed of light squared equals zero. The zero can represent t equals zero, the moment of now, within an individual reference frame. This is logical because time is distance divided by speed and we have the speed of light in the equation. The idea of squaring the speed of light can be based on Huygens' principle that says every point on a light wave front has the potential for a new spherical light wave. We have to square the radius of the light sphere because each point on the surface of the sphere represents a potential photon-electron interaction or coupling. The two-dimensional spherical surface forms a manifold or boundary condition for the movement of positive and negative charges as a probabilistic future unfolds, quanta by quanta, moment by moment. The interior of the sphere naturally forms the characteristics of our three-dimensional space with a volume and mass that increases by the cube of the multiplier. The surface area increases only by the square of the same multiplier, forming the inverse square law of electromagnetic and gravitational fields. We see the same dynamic geometry with the quantum wave particle function squared. Also we have time squared, as in the work of Galileo. The charge of the electron squared, velocity squared, as in the equation for kinetic energy, and meters per second squared, as in units for acceleration. In this theory, we have a probabilistic, uncertain future, continuously coming into existence, with photon energy exchanging potential energy into the kinetic energy of electrons. If you find these ideas interesting, subscribe and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.